Hello everybody, it's Tom back here today with another news video. So thank you for your response on the Scarab news video, it is greatly appreciated as always. But moving straight into today's topic, so today we're going to be taking a look at the reveal images from the Megablox Assassin's Creed line. Now these images came out a couple of weeks ago, so you'll most likely have seen them on the web somewhere. But we felt the need to share them anyway, since we are hopefully going to have Craig covering the Assassin's Creed line in the near future. So let's jump straight into these images. Okay, so the first image we have here is of Da Vinci's flying machine. Now as far as I'm aware, this set is based off of Assassin's Creed 2. I've never played much Assassin's Creed, so I apologise if I've got that wrong. But regardless of that, this looks like a very nice set. It uses a lot of small pieces to create what is the flying machine itself, but it uses some very nice cloth pieces, and it generally looks like a nice set. And looking at it, we can see that it includes et. And coming in at second, we have the Cannon Strike set. This set looks very cool. It includes a 18th century style cannon, some cannonballs, a barrel with another cutlass. Nice to see that appear again. The Phantom Blade and a very nice looking flintlock pistol, which is very awesome. I am quite a history fan. I've always found the past very interesting, so I'm quite excited to see some sets that aren't based around modern or futuristic themes. Now, in addition to this, this set comes with Arno Dorian. I apologise if I've pronounced that wrong, but I believe that Arno is the main character in Assassin's Creed Unity, which is releasing around November time this year. So it's going to be very exciting to get some sets based off the new game. And it's definitely, again, another awesome £10 set, and another awesome set to add to the first introductory wave of Assassin's Creed sets. Okay, so after that we have the Borgia Guard Pack. I apologise if I pronounce that wrong, but again, I have never played Assassin's Creed, so I don't really know how to pronounce it. But this 5-pack is modelled off the Call of Duty 5-packs that we've seen, and the newly introduced Halo 5-packs that we've seen, since the 5-pack format seems to be working particularly well for Megablocks. Within this set we get a buildable fast travel station, which looks very, very cool. From the brief game I've played, I do know what that is, and I have to admit it does look pretty nice. We get five guards, all with interchangeable weapons, pieces of hair, and hats. A variety of different weapons. And then we get an unnamed assassin in the centre, who I assume is going to be a kind of Brotherhood-style assassin, who you can build up and hopefully have a little army of to follow around your named assassin characters. So this is a nice set. A lot of figures in one set, which is good, and a nice little piece of structure. And this set will go hand in hand with another larger set we're getting, which I will show you guys in a minute. Okay, so after the Borgia Guard Pack, we have the Pirate Crew Pack. This pack is the least exciting set of the lineup, in my opinion. I mean, we see pirates who share a few pieces between them, but don't really look exactly like pirates apart from one of them. We see the flintlock pistol again, which is nice. We see the Assassin's Creed Black Flag flag, which is pretty cool. That means that this is based off Assassin's Creed Black Flag. We see a treasure chest, a skull, and a few details, but nothing nearly as exciting as the Borgia pack, in my opinion. However, one thing which is quite exciting for us here at the SS Motion, and something which is a running joke that we have at the moment, is the assassin in this set looks exactly like Craig. So that's something quite exciting, and that is something which I know he's particularly excited about. So that's an awesome little nod and something which we think is pretty cool. And after that we have the set which the Borgia Guard Pack will go hand in hand with, which is, of course, the Borgia Fortress Attack. So this set looks very nice, it has various features, bits that you can pose your assassins on, the working cable lift, the leap of faith up top, which is obviously a staple of Assassin's Creed games, and even a blowing wall, which is epic. So here we see one Borgia guard and a stealthier looking Ezio, which is very, very cool indeed. And what I like about this is it's quite a small set, but it looks like a set you could buy multiples of, maybe reconfigure the construction slightly and actually build a fort with and that's something which I think is pretty cool. I also like the design of the wooden uh, guard building on top, that looks very nice and that's something which is quite iconic to the 
18th century, 17th century, around about when the game's set. And it's just a very nice set and something which will go hand in hand with the Borgia Guard pack to give you somewhere really, really awesome to display these great looking new figures. And the last set we have for now in the Mega Bloks Assassin's Creed line is the Gunboat Takeover set. This set includes the named figure of Edward Kenway, who I believe is the name the main protagonist from Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and it includes a gunboat which looks very nice. And reading the description, you can choose between having the pirate flag raised or the Spanish flag. So we also get three pirate figures in this set and a lot of nice details on the boat. If you just take a minute to look at it, the rigging is very nice. The fabric used to create the mast effect, the lanterns towards the rear of the ship and the control wheel all go together to make a really nice looking ship. It's something which I think has a lot of nice curves to it and has definitely been designed well in order to give it the architecture of a ship from this particular century. So that is the last set and something which again looks very very awesome. So that's been another news video with us here at the SS Motion. We hope you've enjoyed it. We're very excited for the Assassin's Creed line. It's great to see Megablocks get another major video game license underneath their sleeve. And I know that we're very excited to get content for this line rolling. I know Craig's definitely looking forward to this, and I know for a fact that he's going to make some awesome videos on them with all the facts that you really need to know about them, since he is such a big fan of the line of the game as well as these sets. So that's been it for this video, guys. We hope you've enjoyed it, and we hope you look forward to more Assassin's Creed content in the future as the sets come out. Look forward to more content soon. It's October next month, there's Signature Series sets coming out, there's Assassin's Creed sets coming out, and there's bound to be other things going on so look forward to more videos in the future and leading into october that's it from me guys have a lovely week this is tom signing off <laughs>